Apple just released our first look at iOS 17.3. Here are all the new features. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has just released the first beta of iOS 17.3 to developers. I'm gonna walk you through getting this update installed, everything that is new in this update, and there's some pretty big new features, and I'll give you kind of a timeline on when we expect this to be finally released. So let's go ahead and dive into it. To start, I'm running iOS 17.3 on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. This update weighed in at 6.39 gigs, which seems a little bit on the large side, but it did not take long to download. If we take a look at the build number, we're looking at iOS 17.3, 21D5026F. Uh, if you are not familiar with the build numbers, as we approach release, this build number will increase, and the letter at the end will get closer and closer to A, uh, denoting its stability. So here we are on F, and by the time this is released, it should get up to an A there at the end. So we'll compare this with the upcoming builds from the new versions of iOS 17.3 as they are released. Alongside the beta of iOS 17.3, Apple also released betas of iPadOS 17.3, watchOS 10.3, tvOS 17.3, and macOS 14.3. If you have a HomePod and you're part of the Apple Stage program, you also may be invited to test the beta of HomePod Audio Update 17.3 uh, that should be rolling out, and there's even an update to the AirPods and AirPods Pro software, and even a beta update for the Vision Pro SDK. The first thing to check out here in iOS 17.3 is going to be collaborative playlists. So we go here to playlist. We can pick any playlist we want, like my jams here, and we have the option to collaborate and add other people. You'll see this pop up here at the bottom where it'll ask me to invite friends to join. And it can also give me the option to approve collaborators. So that way not everyone is joining. Like if I posted this online uh, and everyone was just kind of flooding things in, it was spamming up my phone so I can approve collaborators or not. And I can go ahead and hit start collaboration. Uh, only Apple Music songs will be included, which is fine here. So any songs that I have from my personal library that I've added here, those will not be included in this. But now it's going to go ahead and convert this into a collaborative playlist where I can improve collaborators to join and we can just build the ultimate playlist together. Once you've created a collaborative playlist, you can invite people through messages. You can also airdrop it to people uh, or just go ahead and copy a link to it and then you can share this any way you'd like. Once this is a collaborative playlist, you can get that invite link again there or you can generate a QR code. You can also stop sharing this and turn it just back into a regular playlist. Um, but yeah, so these are all your options for collaborative playlists. By the way, collaborative playlists were part of iOS 17.2, but Apple pulled it at the last second, uh, possibly due to abuse. So if you would generate a playlist, it could be just completely inundated with spam and, and caused a lot of problems. So Apple decided to pull it back, rethink it a little bit before releasing it. So that way it is just a very stable feature that's not going to blow up your phone if you would like share that QR code with everybody online. The next new feature lives here inside of settings. Now you may automatically see a pop-up occur once you've updated to iOS 17.3, but you can also enable it manually by going into your face ID and passcode settings, and it's here towards the bottom. Well, I guess more in the middle, but it's stolen device protection. I can go ahead and turn this on. Now we've turned on stolen device protection. Here's basically how stolen device protection works. When this is on, your iPhone will look for safe locations like your home or maybe your work. And in those locations, everything will be fine. But when you leave those safe areas and somebody would steal your phone and maybe they also got your passcode because they entered it in public, they could get into your phone and they could change things like your Apple ID password and all this other information, get access to your bank accounts even, all by having access to your passcode and your iPhone at the same time. With this, when your iPhone is not in one of those safe locations, it will automatically put like an hour time limit on changing anything important. So when you're out and about and someone steals your phone and your passcode, they can't remove the password to your phone. They can't change your Apple ID password. They're unable to remove Face ID or Touch ID and a few other things. Now I can go into this in much more detail in a whole dedicated video, so please be sure to check that out. But for right now, uh, just know that this exists. It's coming with iOS 17.3 and it'll be much more secure if someone would ever be able to steal your phone and get access to your passcode at the same time. So those are all the new features that I've been able to uncover so far, but there may be other things hiding here. So let me know down below in the comments if you spotted anything else. But how long are we going to be in this beta phase? 
Here's the thing, the 0.3 betas for Apple tend to be a little bit longer than the norm. In fact, iOS 15.3 was in beta 1 phase for 26 days, and iOS 16.3 was in beta 1 for 27 days. So why so long? Simply the holidays. There's a lot of stuff going on, people are out of the office, so these updates take a little bit longer for Apple to push out with this initial beta. We're probably going to see three to four weeks inside of beta 1 before we even get to a beta 2. That said, Apple has been quick with these point three updates once we've gotten to beta 2. Apple actually released iOS 16.3 by the end of January, so it's you know possible that we will see iOS 17.3 also released by the end of January. Again, this is all just based on past updates from Apple and is no guarantee that is when we will see them, but that's what history is telling us to expect. So let me know again down below in the comments on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941 if you spot any other changes in this update and I'll be sure to include them in the accompanying article if we haven't done so already. Please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.